We'll start off with a nice easy example. Our host number is 192.168.1.23. We have 26 bits for a subnet mask. Normally they'll just write slash 26 in an exam or in an interview question. We know from the binary section and subnet section that each octet is worth 255, which is 8 binary bits. So 255.255.255 is 24 binary bits, and we need 26. So pretty easy to work out to get from 24 to 26, we just add 2. So go over to the subnet and secrets cheat chart, tick down two places on the subnets columns, which gives us a subnet value of 192. So we know if we steal two bits for the last octet, we've got a, a number of 192 at the end. So that's our 26 bits for our CIDR mask. If we steal down two bits from the subnet to work out our increments, we steal across two bits. And we can see we've got our subnets going up in increments of 64. We're subnetting on the last octet because that's where we stole our bits from. We're allowed to use the zero subnet in almost um, every network in exam now, so I'll start off with zero subnet. Then I'll add 64 in the last octet. I'll add another 64, and we can keep counting up until we hit the subnet value of 192, which in this case, all we've got is four subnets, four usable subnets. We're looking for host 23, and it's blatantly apparent here in this example that that's going to be in the zero subnet. So if that was our question, we could just simply write down the answer 192.168.1.0 is where the dot .23 host is. We may get asked to explain where the first host, the last host and the broadcast is in an exam or in an interview. To get the first host, all we do is go to the last octet and add 1. To get the broadcast address, we just jump up to the next subnet and take away 1. So dot .64 minus 1 is dot .63 is our broadcast address. To get our last host, we just take one away from the broadcast address, and that is dot 62.